All right, this is 2021, January 2nd, I believe. Yep, January 2nd. So it's 2020 is over. 2021 is here. So I'm popping the intake off. Uh, Mark Beast from the East hooked that up with a a uh, it's a C427 dual plane. I'm gonna put a one or two inch spacer on it, single carb deal, and we're gonna take it up a road with that combination. See how well it does. This one's got a crack in it somewhere, and I can't figure out where it is. It's just it vacuum looks like crazy and I've checked everything and it's still so popping that off and go put the single on there which I think it'll make more power with a single than this old Offenhauser. Uh, put the single on it. I'm going to build him a carburetor. I got a few carburetors I've already built. I've got 750, 850, 950. Uh, I got 850 annular booster. I got 830 annular booster. I got a bunch of carburetors that I put together. So I'll come up with a combination for this and slap it on there. I'm going to pop an intake off, put a new intake on and be able to see it and fire it up and see how it does uh, hopefully take us up a road maybe tomorrow i don't know if i'll be able to get that far today but i'll try because it's already late in the day and the sun's already on its way down probably got about three hours of daylight left so the days are just so short we're going to put the single deal on there take it run it see how it does with that and mike white is letting us borrow his tunnel ram it was the first tunnel ram first piece he ever bought for a race car he said he would sell it to dad or trade it to dad, but he says it's the first thing he ever got and he don't want to get rid of it. So we're going to do the single deal on it, take it, run it, see how well it does, and then swap to the tunnel ram. But I think it'll make more power with a single on it because it's hydraulic roller cam. It ain't going to have to see no crazy RPM or nothing like that. And it's should be good. So This combination ought to run really, really well with a single on it. That's what I wanted to do from the beginning, but we didn't have one. But luckily... uh. Oh, it's it's in here. I'll show it to you here after a while. But he hooked, you up, hooked us up with a fantastic deal. Mark, his YouTube is Beast from the East. He's got a killer Camaro. I've mentioned him before and showed some pictures of his cars on in the YouTube video before. He's an awesome dude. Hooked us up with an intake for, you know, dirt cheap. So, that's pretty cool. And it's a, it's a 60s correct piece. It matches. It's the matched L88 intake to the L88 combination that we have. So, that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna pop this intake off since the coolant finishes draining and slap a new one on it. All right, got the intake off. Thing looks good. All right, since our water pump, we can't get the plugs out of the water pump to put that, that uh, vent tube, which relieves the pressure, drill holes in the thermostat. And that'll allow it uh, to relieve pressure. All right, intake looked like it had a repair done to it. Looked like it kind of might have had some kind of casting crack on the inside. So we mixed up some JB and smeared it in there real thin. And somebody had already welded the top side. So, TIG welded it. We're just covering our bases, just to make sure everything's good. But, all right, got the intake on, distributor dropped back in, everything's torqued down, and Dad's making his fuel lines. Should go right to the carburetor. Back and yeah, and this is not the carburetor we're running. This come off cars Camaro. I had built it. it, runs fantastic. So I'm just throwing it on there. I don't like the purple. But yeah, slapped it on there. And this is the intake that I was telling you that uh, Mark Beast from East hooked me up with a fantastic deal on. And it is a C427 Elbrock. Thank you, sir. So we're going to take this, get it dialed in, get it running good, take it to the track and run it, then swap to the tunnel ram and see what it picks up, if it picks up at all. Just to see. Yeah, just to see. But this right here, it being a, a hydraulic roller cam, the power on the cam's like 28 to 65. So this intake should be perfect for that, especially with the plenum increase with the two inch spacer. Should be good. And it'll probably go down to less gear nice. Yeah, it's got a 557. We'll probably go to a 410 because we got one in stock. Yeah. But this is a little 750. Yeah, I'll have an 850 or a 950 on it. And when I'm done, I just got to build one particular for this combination. Uh, this has got 6.5 power valves, it's got 71 jets. To come on this thing. Yeah, this right here was the carburetor that was the aftermarket one deal you buy over the counter for that engine combination. I got this from Jimmy Klontz. He had it on and run it everywhere and then it developed uh, a stumble where he could not get it fixed. And when I rebuilt it, I found what was wrong. One of the air bleeds right here had a crack in it and it had an open hole. So it was pulling too much air. So I epoxied that closed with JB well and it ran great. Back four years ago when I fixed it. Uh, spin it over.
Yeah, no points about nothing. Close. I'm gonna lock a distributor down right there where it's at. And I'm gonna fix your linkage, and then you'll be able to get in there and yeah, fire it up, and move it around, and maybe go do burnouts tomorrow. Or at least drive it. <laughs> it still looks pretty cool. Real. It's still it's still real. Yeah, I'll get that purple off, and we'll just uh, leave it like that. But that's a success right there. So I think it's cool. If it didn't have the purple. It'd be it looked perfect. Man, that purple don't matter shit. It drives me crazy. I did that carburetor to match Carla's everything purple on hers, but I built her the Edelbrock AVS two and slapped it on. It runs great. So I took this back. We'll look at the plugs. Like I said, we'll run it and run up a road and look at the plugs and. We'll go from there. That's good. Oh yeah, it you can tell that carburetor's a little lean. Like when it goes to rev, it's kind of ah, ah instead of bam bam. But we'll see what it does. Like bam bam to me instead of ah ah. Well, standing back here, you can hear a little bit. Like it definitely needs to be stepped up in jets. But the, the, that throttle, it feels nice and smooth. Just yeah, feel it. Get in there, feel it. Yeah, that filter's kind of like monkey shit, but it works. So, yeah, you're just trying to keep dirt it'll, be, it'll breathe a lot better than them little paper ones. That thing hated them little paper ones. But now that throttle feels fantastic. Can I put your switch in upside down so the key has to go in upside down. I don't know. There, key's a key. No pump shot. <laughs> Nice. You just barely. I it know. Like it's, it's, it's got so much motor. Oh yeah, it's got. I mean, you don't even touch a pedal. No, it's just like, right, right, that right, right. right there is just like just like pew. Yeah, it sounds good. This, man. this thing gonna run good. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, it's gonna run good. We'll see. That thing's that pedal's smooth though, ain't it? It's, like it's just, fucking awesome. It's way better than like our cobbled up. I, oh, stuff. it's yeah. It's that's that's rocks. something. That's something that you fucking dead on point right there. You just barely touch it. Yeah. All right, got the street tires off. Put the slicks back on. All right, uh, I'll run through the carburetor real quick. Uh, get rid of all the purple. Uh, 31, 31, 74, 84, 6.5 power valve. The new base plate gasket on it. Uh, let's see how this does. That'll be better. It acts like it's a little lean. All right, Dad tightened up the motor mounts. Uh, fired right up. So it should be good. Uh, no leaks. Well, no, it needed bigger jetting in it and, and everything like that. So it should run... A lot better. I'd rather it be a little bit fat than too lean. So, should be all right.
Alright, Dad's about to drive his 57 for the first time with Big Block. Break down on Big Block. Time here, boys. That's recording. But yeah, the bias supplies, he couldn't get above 30 mile an hour without a yeah, death wobble. Checked all the steering components, everything on the 57. Put different wheels on the front now. We know these are too wide for the front of this car. But that's all we had to stick on it. We're going to stick them on there and try to go up the road again. See if we got the death wobble out of it. We're going to take up the road again. Hopefully this time, no death wobble. And you can actually get into it a little bit and actually feel what it, what it might do. That 557 is way, way, way too much gear. It's gonna be cool, man. I think he's gonna pull it down in first and just run it out a little bit. another gear in that thing you'll be
That thing is going to flat dead hook at the track. That is awesome. Shift light never even come. No, that ain't even up to 52 yet. No, it ain't hit the light yet. Sorry if my laughter is a little annoying, but that tickles me. <laughs> oh man, that tickles me. Yeah, Dad left harder when I got down in it than he did the other times. You can tell he's still getting a feel for it, and I don't know. I don't even think you've gone wide open yet. Nah, not quite. I went about half for all this time here. Yeah, yeah. The the shift light set at fifty two. It didn't never come on. Oh, it's got torque for days. Yeah, when it get it don't even it just like pulls like. Yeah, that's with a little seven fifty on it. Oh yeah, it's way faster. But we that's this is the first time the motor's been anywhere. We have no break in on the motor at all. He's just running up there and kind of heating it up as we go up and putting a little load on it. Shit, we just stuck them on there to see if we could fix the, the wobble and the death wobble when that come out of it. So. Yeah, fix that. We just put them on there because that's all we had to test. But but what, what I'm saying, like with the 410, when you put that in there, you'll be able to cruise it, drive up there just as tame. And then you'll have all that power on top of that. I, feel like the 411, be I bet you feel better than that with 411 because you'll be using the motor's torque. But like down there where it took off, it felt really stout down low. It'll feel that way all the way through. Like it'll it'll top in like crazy with a, with a different gear in it because it's got the power and the torque to do it. Oh, that's pretty wicked. That's pretty wicked. The 57 ain't tickled me like that in a long time. That, that plum tickled me. Well, that time was a little bit better. A little bit better every time. But we still got to put it, we got a two step to put in it to help with the trans brake. Uh, just, we're just creeping up on it. This, the 57 Bad Penny Big Block has just begun. Yeah, it ain't even been to five grand yet, so. It's got a little puff and a little white, so we're going to put it, it ain't got no evac system, so we're put it. Well, Dad did a little street dog with the 57, but we're going to get some valve stem seals and. Put the 410 gear in it and take it back up the road again. He ain't been wide open throttle with it at all yet. Maybe, maybe half throttle. Next time we'll see if he can open up a little more. He's just getting a feel for it and getting comfortable with the car, which is smart. Because she's got a lot more power than she had before. So, yeah, well, that is a wrap on this weekend. Till next weekend.